Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the 59th Pygame tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is how we can actually let the user move the turret. So we have our tank function, we have possible turrets here. And then here we were just drawing all of the turrets. So let's go ahead and get rid of all but one of these lines, like that. And then we're going to add another third parameter to the tank function, and that's just going to be comma and then tur pos. So turret, sort for turret position. And this is going to pass through the position in this turret uh, list uh, which one we want to use. So we'll pass that through the function and that's going to be contingent on what the user, like what button the, pre the user presses. Um, so we'll take turret pose and then when we go to draw it, uh, that's this right here, we've got possible turrets and then instead, instead of just saying the zeroth element we actually want to say whatever the tur pose is so whatever the position of the turret that we say uh, that's where we want to draw it so once you've got that now we need to actually define like the turret position and all that so we'll come down to our uh, game loop and right here what we need to do is we need to add a couple of uh, new variables and the first one will be current uh, tur pose so like what's the current turret position and then we're gonna add a uh, change tur and that's gonna be as well zero and this is gonna be kinda like tank move right it basically is gonna operate under the same premise that tank move does basically every time the user presses a key we modify this variable to be something and then every frame per second we are uh, plus equaling so we're kind of combining change tur and the turret position so once you've defined those two, now we're ready to come down into our game loop here. Um, and this is obviously the, the game over. So we're gonna come here and we're looking at key down. So currently we've got elif event.key equals pi key up and k down. These are what we're gonna use to let the user control the turret. So if it is key up, well, we probably wanna move the turret up, right? That only makes sense. So what we're gonna say is change tur is and let me make sure that was right yeah change tur was zero so it's change tur equals one and then if k down then we're going to say uh, change tur equals uh, negative one and that's it for our keys since we had already kind of written those but we do want to also um, we want to modify this one as well uh, so we've got k up k down and so you say here um, we can Take, we can basically do something pretty similar to this line uh, that we did for moving the tank. So, for example, otherwise, you know, change tur is going to remain and it's always going to keep moving. We want to be able to like let the user lift up on the key and stop the turret from moving. So, we're just going to say if event dot key equals pi game dot, and then we're going to ask k underscore up or event dot key equals pygame dot k underscore down colon if that's the case and that the, either of those two keys have been released then change tur should equal now zero so we want this to stop moving so then uh, once we've done that what we all we need to do now is we come down basically to this tank function and remember we added that new tur pose uh, variable so that's going to be current her pose that we want to pass through but before we pass that through we want to go ahead and have current tur pose uh, plus equals uh, change tur now this is going to give us a slight problem you'll see in a moment but it, it, the functionality is there but we do have to uh, cover for something so I'll show you that in a second but let's play make sure we did everything right so we can move the turret up and down that's cool um, and then obviously we can later on we're gonna fire we'll probably fire with the space key and we're also gonna have a like power right the strength of the shot um, since that's in most tank games even though I don't really think someone might correct me as well but I don't think that tanks actually have like a power of their can like they can't like really adjust like how strong the fire is but I might be wrong <laughs> but anyway um, so that's that but we have a slight problem and that is uh, the following so I'm gonna move uh, our game over here and then I'll move the uh, console there 
So what happens though when we go too high? Well, we get a list index out of range because we don't actually have, like, this is going to keep adding one while we're holding up, right? And it's going to do the same thing when we go down. We're going to get another error for that as well. Let me close out of this. So that was up, and then with down, you'll find that you'll get something as well. So you hold down, and you'll see it popped back once, but if you keep holding down, um, you'll get list index out of range. So obviously that's no good. That This kind of error is going to result in a game crashing like on the user, and we obviously don't want that to be happening. So uh, that's what we're going to cover partly in the next video, and then we'll also probably do a couple other things in the next video since the fix for that is not too bad. Clear up some white space there. So anyways, uh, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned to the next video.